Number 8. Chester Beatty Library The Chester Beatty, which houses one of the world's greatest collections of rare and antique Asian texts and artifacts, is tucked away in the castle complex of Dublin Castle, despite the castle being ranked as one of the least exciting tourist locations in Europe. Number 7. Aras and Watcher Train Tour Imagine being able to have a peep inside the president's house if you're a kind of person who loves to look inside living room windows and obsesses over home improvement programs. Number 6. Irish Museum of Modern Art The Irish Museum of Modern Art, or IMMA, is a fantastic gallery in Dublin for art enthusiasts. Here, modern art is showcased in well-organized shows. Number 5. National Botanic Gardens The botanic gardens, which are home to over 15,000 plant species from various ecosystems around the world, offer a green haven in the centre of Dublin and are the ideal place for a leisurely stroll. Number 4. National Museum of Ireland Collins Barracks, also known as the National Museum of Ireland, is a highly recommended place to visit. In addition to the many of historical and visual art exhibitions, the Bin Burb Street location hosts a plethora of one-time events organised by the staff. Number 3. Garden of Remembrance Designed by Dorothy Hanley, this serene area and the heart of the city is devoted to honouring all those who gave their lives in the cause of Irish freedom. Number 2. National Library of Ireland The magnificent domed reading room of the National Library of Ireland is housed in a historic edifice that would astound anyone. The library is a reference-only resource. It does not lend, but it does not have a large collection of Irish and Irish-related materials that are available for free consultation. Number 1. James Joyce Tower and Museum We are aware that Joyce fans frequently visit Dublin and if you are one of them, you should check out Sandy Coast James Joyce Tower which houses a museum honoring the life and contributions of the influential poet and novelist.